Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video talking about some upcoming FNAF things that were happening. This time, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, I don't know why I always choose to hide it. You guys can clearly tell what this video is going to be about. We have information, uh, specifically an Amazon page, for the upcoming collection of short stories that are going to be set inside the FNAF universe, but not actually about FNAF, if that makes sense. I'll read the um, Steam community post that Scott made all the way back in, like, uh, August or November. I can't remember. November. It was, yeah, November. Um, talking about what it is, and then we'll move on to the Amazon page. We don't have a cover for it, unfortunately. So, yeah, same thing with the Five Nights at Freddy's Silver Eyes graphic novel. I'm going to have to get creative with the thumbnail. But back in November, the progress for the new book series was at 20%, and we actually have a release date on the Amazon page, which is December 26th of this year, of 2019, which, for a book series that was 20% done all the way back in November, and it is now April 2nd, and it's coming out December 20, 26th of this year, it seems like either progress is really slow, or this book is going to be really, really long and full of really, really unique stories. I can't actually remember how many pages the collection of book, um, the collection of short stories are, but we're gonna find out when we read the Amazon page. Anyway, so the post says that there is a new line of books on the way from Scholastic. This will be very different from the original book series, as it will be a collection of short horror stories that take place in the FNAF universe. The series will launch with five books, each containing three different short stories with unique characters and plot lines, some connected directly to the games, and some not. So, maybe I should have done a bit more looking before I started recording, but yeah. There's five books total, I don't know if that's going to feature all five books with their short stories each, so like 15 short stories total in this one book collection, or if it's going to be released... This book that we have the Amazon page for is book one, and then later on in the future we're going to get Amazon pages and eventually releases for books one, um, two, three, four, and five. Um, guess we're going to find that out on the Amazon page again. Um, I saw this news like four days ago, I think it said, on Reddit, and but then we had all the Help Wanted things coming out, and I just wanted to get that done, even though I still have loads of videos to do about it. But anyways... I just wanted to get this out of the way because I knew if I kept delaying it, I would eventually forget. And I actually did forget before I was going to record one of those videos, but then I thought, now I'm going to get this video done, and then I can do a video on that. So anyways, let's look at the Amazon page for the uh, book. So this is the Amazon page. It's titled Five Nights at Freddy's Short Story Collection Number 1. It is paperback and is being released on December 26th of 2019. It's made by Scott, obviously, with the help of Scholastic. And... Um, it's selling for eight ninety nine, but over on the side that my face camera is covering, it's called. It says the list price is nine ninety nine, and it says that you can save one dollar, which is ten percent. So, now I don't know much about um, saving money because I don't have any money. But it's either going for eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine. Nine nine nine. Um, the description, it says, Five Nights at Freddy's fans won't want to miss this pulse-pounding collection of three novel-length tales that will keep even the bravest FNAF players up at night. Oh. Disclaimer, I don't know what this word means. <laughs> Novellia. I'm gonna look that up. Novella. 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 It's like Nutella. Novella. 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 It's a mix of vanilla and Nutella. Novella. Gotcha. Novella. Novella. Got it. Yeah, so FNAF fans won't want to miss this post boundary collection of three novella-length tales that will keep even the greatest FNAF players up at night. Um, from twisted toys to gut-wrenching games, this collection of terrifying tales is unsettling enough, unsettling enough to mess with even the most hardened FNAF fans. In this volume, horror master Scott Cawthon- Whoa. He is the horror master- um, spins three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of the FNAF canon. Each story comes complete with accompanying, accompanying 
artwork from a fan favorite game artist to bring the horror to life in a whole new way. So, it's got pictures in it. <laughs> that you guys are probably you guys are smart. You know what that means. It's got pictures in it. Um, readers beware in this startling adventure. Despite wishes, have an unexpected cost. Beautiful trinkets, trinkets, trinkets. I have never heard that word before. Reveal appalling powers and harmless pranks can go airy in ghastly ways. <laughs> Now, I don't know if it was just the person that was writing this, but I feel like they used the th thesaurus.com a few too many times. Awing, ghastly, trinkets. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna get my brother, because he's like an English expert, but, like, no one uses these words. And I just wanted to know, like, have you heard anybody use these words in this way? Ghastly? Trinkets, appalling powers, and harmless pranks can go airy. I've heard those words. There are there's so much. Like, that's a lot of. <laughs> that's one set, like that's one a or lot two sets. Big words. One set. That is one set. Not even like big words, but you know what I mean. Like yeah, like words that no one really uses. Words that like they, it's like they had a word and then they were like, hmm, this isn't good enough, so they looked at like synonyms. That's what I meant, like, and like, that's what I said. Yeah. Go to thesaurus.com and be just like, hmm, what word can we use? Yeah. It's it's just, it's really weird. strange. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Anyways, get out of here. Adios. Bye. Bye. So to finish it off, we have some product details. The series is FNAF Book 1. It's paperback and has a total of 224 pages. The publisher is Scholastic, as Scott mentioned previously. Language, obviously, is English, and then some other stuff I don't know. Shipping information, don't care about. Average customer, no, no, shut up. Amazon bestsellers rank, it, it is... <laughs> uh, awesome. It is, no, it is number 235,381 out of all the books on Amazon. I don't know how many books are on Amazon, but that is a pretty good ranking. Um, it's actually number 70 in teen and young adult ghost stories, so very nice. Congratulations, Scott, on that. Pretty sure Silver Eyes was, like, number one, um, New York Times, which is, actually, I can look on it. Um, it does not say on the original copy of the book, but I'm sure on the new version it does. Um, and by new version, I mean the one with the new cover on it this is the old cover because i'm og like that i got that when it first came out oh my god it's such a long time anyways what are we talking about all oh, right the new um new book collection so because there's not a cover for the book for the book for the book just yet we don't have anything to go off of as for speculations really i couldn't even guess what the cover could be about because it may or may not even showcase a FNAF animatronic on the front. It may feature some other character that I don't even know what I can name it, like a werewolf, a, I don't know, Bigfoot, like, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't even know. It could just be like a ghost. I really have no clue what Scott has planned for these novella-length short stories. See, I've learned a new word today. I'm Probably you guys didn't, because you're so much smarter than me. Anyway, <laughs> why do I keep saying stuff about myself like that? So, there's not much to go off of. It's just a description and some small details about the book. It is paperback, which I know not too many people are a fan of paperback. I personally don't mind it. Um, but yeah, if you're not a fan of paperback, sorry. It seems like... Um, Really, the only hardcover FNAF book we've had is you, right there, the survival logbook. Um, that is the only one we've had that is paperback, and I'm pretty sure the new Freddy Files is paperback as well. And the graphic novel, I'm pretty sure is paperback, but I honestly can't remember. Anyways, that is all the information we have to go off of. Hopefully you guys are excited, even though it's coming out later this year. It's basically coming out in 2020. Technically, it's 2019, but December 26th is basically 2020. We're not even going to get it in time for Christmas. 
that would make such a good Christmas present. At least for me, because I'm a nerd and ask for stuff like that for Christmas. So hopefully you guys are excited for the new book. We've got a, a long ways to go, but hopefully um, it does seem like we are getting really, really close to Help Wanted's release. And I still have loads of videos to do on it. So hopefully you guys are excited for the new book, Help Wanted, and the videos coming up about Help Wanted. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.